Yo guys, so for today's video, I'll be breaking down one of my favourite parts of post-production, colour grading. First things first, you need to get your shot right in camera. I am filming with the Sony FX30 in S-Log3 using the Cine EI mode. White balance is at 5500 Kelvin, filming in 25 frames per second and in 10-bit 422. Once all the filming is done and all the footage is on the timeline, I then double check my colour management settings. I make sure that the colour science is on DaVinci Y RGB and the timeline colour space is on Rec 709A. Now to get into it, there's three main steps. Convert, correct and grade. I convert my footage from S-Log3 to DaVinci Wide Gamut using a colour space transform or a CST. Then, later than the node tree, I do another CST which converts my footage from DaVinci Wide Gamut to Rec 709. I do this because DaVinci Wide Gamut is a much bigger colour space compared to S-Log3. To correct our footage, I use a parallel node to adjust exposure, white balance and saturation. I also then add some more contrast using curves. One quick tip during this colour correction stage is to create another node before your first CST node. Here we can control the highlights using the qualifier tab. First we turn off hue and saturation, then for the luminance we put the low to 65 and low soft to 15. Then we go to the primaries and lower the highlights. I found around minus 20 to minus 50 works well. Then finally, it's the grade. If I'm creating my own look, I tend to add blue or green in the shadows and then some orange in the midtones or highlights. Or if I'm using a creative LUT, I apply it here and I just adjust the strength of this look. If I need further adjustments, I tend to do this in the node after. From this point onwards, I then add my effects. This includes halation, grain, glow, and sometimes a vignette. So to recap, we convert the footage to Rec 709, correct the footage, then create the final look. It can be a long process, but there are ways to make it much faster. Another tip I will share is to create your node tree, label all the nodes and set up the color space transforms. Then grab a still to save into your power grids. From now on, you have access to this node tree in any of your future projects. This saves you time instead of recreating your node tree over and over again. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.